Just a few things I wanted to note concerning the layout. See, I do a 16 and 8, 16 and 8, 16 and 8, 16, because the staggering gives it strength. You don't want all your boards breaking on one uh, rafter. You know, that way you could get, they'll all be wobbly if they're all connected like that. It's got to be staggered, staggered to be strong. And when I did my layout, and I did my 16s, I only marked this center board all the way out. I didn't bother marking these ones because I nailed the top and the bottom on 16, and it really was just the middle boards that were flex that needed to be pulled to our 16 mark. So the rest of these, I didn't bother nailing, a, a, drawing 16, pulling a layout on each of these boards, just the middle one. That's sufficient. Oh, there was something else too. Oh, this bottom board has got a plane out. It's not right to the edge. See, it's in about three quarter because you want that to plane out because when I do my flashing, it's going to go down and over my fascia. I don't want that this top run holding my um, drip edge way out over my fascia. It looks stupid. So I think that there was something else. but um. So we got... 16, 8, 16, 8, 16, and from here on, we can just run 16 foot 2 by 4s all the way down. We are going to put some felt paper. Oh, yeah, the felt paper. So, I've always screwed this up in the past, but our felt paper, I measured it. Measure your felt paper. If you're just putting steel over this and you're not doing uh, like a plywood deck, the felt paper was 47 inches. Well, it's supposed to be 47, but it's 46 and a half. So that's how I measured this layout. Instead of going two foot, every two foot with the roof steel, I started at the bottom and I made sure that this third two by four was 47 inches so that my paper will start at the bottom and end at the top here. And that's the same. That way when you work your way up, your paper doesn't run off the two by four. So this one should be 47 inches as well, which it is. And the next one's 47 inches, so we got our tar paper is good for every run. So we're going to, our tar, tar paper, the bottom of it's going to be with the bottom of this 2 by, the top of this 2 by. Then we're going to put another roll down right here, bottom, top, bottom, top. So we don't have to worry about running off and, oh, shoot, well, you didn't you didn't figure your, tar, your uh, felt paper in, so it breaks right here and it's just going to flop. Now our, our, our felt paper is going to be tight all the way up, all the way down. So it's just something I've learned as I go is when you're measuring and figuring for layout, figure for your felt paper, figure for your plywood. You're not just here to put rafters on. You're, you're doing it for a reason.